Why aren't there any hole effect joysticks for the PS4 controller? I decided to make one myself and uncover the mystery. Let's use a sphere magnet for a nice symmetrical field and place the joystick's rotation points through the magnet. Mount it on my TMAG 5273 3D hole sensor, secure it with screws, add the thumbstick and connect it to the computer. Let's import the joystick to a program, create the virtual copy and display the y-axis magnetic field value. Joystick top position gives minus 11,000 and bottom position gives 8,000. But how to transfer these values to the PS4 controller? And what does the original joystick send to the controller? I have soldered some cables to the joystick on the original main board, hooked it up to a multimeter, and when I move the joystick around, you see the voltage level varies on the multimeter. But we have magnetic field strength and not voltage level. Hmm, if there only was a reverse multimeter or a DAC, digital to analog converter. Inputting a zero will give us zero volts. Inputting to 55 will give us a maximum voltage of around 3.3 volt. Inputting a number in between will give us a different voltage for each number. But what kind of data does the controller send to the computer about its stick position? Let's connect it to my computer via my custom USB-C circuit board. And if you want USB-C in your PS4 controller, you can get this for only $10. Shop links are in the description. Turns out, the controller's joystick position data is also a value between 0 and 255. So we can replace the analog joystick with our digital to analog converter, cycle through all values and create a map linking our digital to analog controller values to the different stick positions from the controller. Let's bring it all together. We'll get our magnetic field data converted to a value between 0 and 255 you start controller mapping and send the corresponding voltage from the digital to analog converter to the controller. And that is how you make a whole effect joystick for the PS4 controller. So what is the mystery? The PS4 controller uses a voltage between 0.5 to 2.5 to determine its stick position. And to convert the magnetic field data from the hole sensor to the voltage levels, we need a computer and a digital to analog converter. Computers can be made very small, but it complicates the design and increases battery consumption. I just found some hole sensors that outputs a voltage instead of a signal. Let's just order them and make some new test circuit boards. I'm also making the entire PS4 controller mainboard to give us complete control over all hardware and software features. But how should I prioritize it? And when can you order? If you support me on Patreon, you will get access to my products before anyone else. And you can also vote on what is important to you. Is it audio, whole effect sticks, or many new buttons? You can also support me by buying my PS4 USB-C circuit board from Tindy or Electrons.